Hey there, thanks for stopping by, much appreciated. And on today's show, what we're gonna talk about is, I'm gonna walk you through from start to finish how to set up your wallet, how to create a Coinbase account, and then purchase your first NFT on the Solana blockchain using Magic Eden. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. As always, it's always appreciated. And um, you know, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through uh, the whole you know, process of purchasing your first Solana NFT through the Magic Eden uh, marketplace. Now I know that there are different ways to do this. The way I'll say it is like, it's the comparison to a Rubik's Cube. You know, I, and the reason I use that, that comparison is because I, I do the Rubik's Cube. I don't do it, I'm not a speed cuber, I'm not the fastest person in the world, there are better ways to do it, um, but the way I know how to do it is the way I know how to do it. And I think this is really, really easy, that it's not a convoluted process, and you really just need to do two things to get set up in order to purchase your first NFT. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a phantom wallet. Now Phantom is the wallet that interacts as the intermediary between your Coinbase account and uh, Magic Eden. So it's phantom.app, that's it, and the link will be below, so you can go ahead and click on that to bring you here. Um, so once you do that, you set it up, and on the top right, it's gonna see, you're gonna see it says add to Chrome. I use Brave, you can use Chrome as well. Um, those are the two that I would suggest. Um, that have worked for me. Others may work, but I haven't tried them, so I'm not gonna speak out of, out of line here. But I use Brave right now, and that's what I'm gonna show you. And as you can see in the top right up here, um, uh, I guess you can't see my mouse right there, I'm gonna click. Um, you can see my, or I guess you can't see it, but um, you can see my mouse now. Uh, my Phantom Wallet is up there. So um, I, you add it as an extension on your toolbar once you have it downloaded. And um, that's about it. So that's, that's the, the phantom wallet um, aspect of it. So that's the first part that you're gonna wanna do. The second part you're wanna, gonna wanna do is have a Coinbase account. Um, now, if you are just signing up, it may take a little bit for you to verify uh, your bank information. So this isn't really like an immediate process. Uh, but trust me, you won't be disappointed by doing this. I think it's a smart move to set up a Coinbase account in general. Um, now again, I'm not a financial advisor, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Uh, there, any money that you invest, you know, should be on your own uh, recommendations. I mean, you should be doing your own research, and you never put up money that you're not willing to lose. You know, everything that I've put into this, I'm willing to lose. I'm willing it to have it go to zero. You know, so just make sure that you are doing it in your best interests. Um, so in Coinbase though, what you're gonna wanna do, once you have your Coinbase account set up, it's really easy to set up and it's free. Um, the, now that we have our Phantom Wallet um, connected in our extension here, you need to connect your Phantom Wallet to Coinbase. So what you do here is, I'm gonna switch here, so I'm in the, um, the Pay tab. So when you pay, you're basically paying, not another person, you're basically paying yourself, you're drawing it from Coinbase and you're putting it into your Phantom Wallet. And if you don't have any Solana, what you're gonna wanna do is up here, you're gonna click Buy, Sell, and then you would just put the dollar amount of the Solana that you want. So let's say Solana is $130. You would switch it, uh, look for Solana, bam, and then say you wanna buy $100, go $100. I've already exceeded my limit uh, for the week, so I can't do it, uh, but you would do that you have your card linked up to your Coinbase account and then you would you know, click here, buy. So that's it, that's easy. So that's basically taking Solana and putting it into your account. So that's the first step that you need to have in the Coinbase uh, process here. Now the second step is once you have that Solana in your personal Coinbase account, you're gonna wanna send that to your Phantom Wallet. And how you do that, you go up here to your Phantom Wallet go do, do, do. and then you copy the address this is really really important and this is something that I would say you need to double check so I have my wallet ID in my phantom wallet right there 
So at the very top of your plugin, it'll say wallet one or whatever wallet, you know, I, I, some people have multiple, I just have one. So it says wallet one, and it'll give you the last, first four and the last four alphanumerics. You wanna double check that and make sure, AFQD and the last four, K8, K81T. This is a public address. You know, this is what you might see on Twitter or Facebook or wherever people, more, more likely Twitter. Um, you know, this is like kind of like a routing number a little bit. So it's a public facing thing. It's okay to put out there. And then I'm gonna switch this down to Solana. So I'm gonna, once you switch that pay with, it knocks out that address. I'm gonna paste that again. So there's my wallet. Now I have $35 of Solana already in my Coinbase account, so I'm gonna hit send all. So $35.28 of Solana is gonna go to this. And I'm gonna, you know, if you wanna make a note, you can write a note, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna hit continue, boom. So this is right before you send it, you wanna make sure that it is confirmed everything that you want it to send to. So you confirm how much you're gonna send. So I'm sending 0.29445516 of a soul. That's the, um, uh, uh, the fraction of the coin as it is today. Um, and then when you go to you know pay with Solana and then there is a fee when you use Coinbase um, and the network fee. So this is the real big difference between Solana and Ethereum is Ethereum has what's called gas fees. And sometimes those can be absolutely outrageous. They can be a lot of money. Whereas in Solana, the fees are very, very minimal. And that's what really drew me to this blockchain for purchasing and investing in NFTs. The fees are really not, basically nothing. I mean, you look, it's 0 0.000005 of uh, Solana. It's really nothing. So total, it's gonna cost me $35.28, which obviously I'm sending it all. So I'm gonna hit send now. And then you do have um, an, a two-step authenticator app. So this is actually something I forgot that you're gonna to need to set up as well. Um, it's an authenticator, it's called Authy. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. Uh, but you log in on your phone and it's gonna give you a six digit number. Uh, here we go. And it changes every time. So that, what you just saw, doesn't matter that you saw that because that's what it just sent to me and it refreshes like every 30 seconds or something like that. So the transaction was complete, we're good to go. So I'm gonna hit done. And now what I did is I pulled that money that I put into Coinbase, out of Coinbase, into my Solana wallet, which is called Phantom. So then the next step in purchasing your NFTs, you're gonna head over to Magic Eden. So this is a marketplace for NFTs, okay? So this is where you can you know, scour the, the website for different projects that you find interesting. Maybe you look on YouTube and you saw, saw one that you think looks cool, head over to Magic Eden and that's gonna take you to you know, that page. So the way it's divided, if you go to home, um, the home page is gonna show you upcoming projects that are just coming out. So if you go to like the launch pad, that's really the concept of the launch pad. So there's a private mint going on right now for Chill Cat, whatever this is. 1500 animated, one of one NFT origins creating Chill Cat, a create to earn pixel art metaverse played, uh, made by the players. So, you know, I have no idea what the heck that is, but if you wanted to look at it, you can look it up. Um, and so on and so forth. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna buy one of my favorite projects in the absolute world, it's called Rowdy Rams. I made a video on it yesterday. I'll put a link to that in the notes too. Um, but Rowdy Rams, these are, I'm obsessed with these damn things. So um, the communities are great, whatever. This isn't a Rowdy Rams project, but what I will show you is how to buy it. So I'm just gonna buy, let's see, if I go in my wallet, it'll show me the amount of um, Solana that I have in my wallet. You can't see that, it's not showing up here, but I have 0.68 uh, Sol right now. So, you know, if we really wanted to buy a nice one, we could, you know, let's, uh, let's scroll down, because I have them filtered from low to high. Um, and you can filter by the traits on the left here too, and this isn't specific to Rowdy Rams, um, this is, each NFT is gonna have different traits and each of the different traits 
have different levels of rarity and then a combination of all the traits together ultimately will kind of drive the price to what you're purchasing. Again, there's a lot of research that goes into this that you want to make sure that you're doing before you purchase an NFT. Um, so I don't have a halo one yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hat. I'm going to go to halo and the cheapest one that I can get right now is 0.19. Um, Let's go, you know, let's, let's take a look. I don't see if any catch my eyes. I mean, this one with a visor, I don't have any with a visor either. So you know what? Halo and a visor, I'm in. So I'm gonna click it, it's 0.6 soul. I'm gonna click buy now. And then um, you can't see this, but what pops up in Magic Eden is something to approve. So I'm gonna click approve. That's basically me approving the transaction. I'm allowing that to happen and is creating the blockchain right now, like basically the ledger of the transaction. And give it a second here. And there we go. So at the top, you can see congrats, your purchase is filled. Now, I did have to buy a different one sometimes, and it's some good real world you know action that you just saw sometimes you know the website can be a little wonky um it's an imperfect like not maybe not imperfect but um you know it's just it's technology sometimes it has you know a little blip here and there so let's go back now at the top right i'm gonna go to my profile a, a bigger feet a bigger uh there it is so we got 10 officially baby let's go let's get rowdy if you're part of the Rams community, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but now I'm officially a Ram. So those are my 10 here and it shows up, it populates. Um, I think this is the one I just bought. So very cool stuff, very easy process. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, drop them in the comments. Um, and I'm gonna put the links to everything that you need in order to get set up uh, to purchase your first NFT on Solana. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so please, do your own research, find a project that you like if you want to invest and never invest any money into something that you're not willing to lose. But on that note, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope this was helpful. Um, and I make a series of videos on my YouTube channel where I cover different NFT projects um, that I think are up and coming, that are cool looking and uh, you know, just a lot of fun to be a part of. Uh, so make sure to like, subscribe, comment, like I said below, and uh, have, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Good luck.